What's up guys, welcome back to Gluten-Free Learning. Uh, as promised, I'm doing an example of the single segment Simpsons one-third rule. So if you haven't watched my derivation of the Simpsons one-third rule, click the link here somewhere, I'm going to put it in here somewhere, and it'll take you to the video and uh, watch it, make sure you understand it and know where the formula came from, otherwise you're just mindlessly plugging in numbers and formula, and you should know where they came from, you should understand it. So let's do an example. Suppose I want you to find the uh, integral between 1 and 4 of x e to the x dx and we want to use this using numerical methods and I know that we could easily uh, you know solve this using integration by parts using uv minus the integral of v d v to u but this method we're not using that we just want to use numerical methods where we ha don't have to do, use any integration techniques and we're doing a single segment and that's saying that n equals 2 so if you don't understand what that means just check my video out deriving the following formula and it'll make more sense so we've got our a equals 1 b equals 4 therefore our h equals b minus a over 2 1.5 that's our h and then remember that our f our so using our formula that we derived in the previous video i equals h over 3, one third rule, times this function. And we know that x naught is going to equal a equals 1. x2 equals, remember it's the midpoint, so at b minus a over 2, 4 minus 1 over 2, and x2 is just going to be equal to b equal to 4. So 4 minus 1, 4 plus 1, sorry. The midpoint is b plus a over 2, so 4 plus 1 over 2 is 2.5. So using that information, we can say that our integral is equal to 1.5 over 2. Our function, remember, was x times e to the x, right? So f of x naught, 1 e to the 1 plus 4 times x1. Remember, x1 was 2.5, so we have 2.5 e to the 2.5, all times 4, because we have our formula, remember that. And then we've got plus f of x2 and our x2 was 4, so we got 4e to the 4. And this equals 1.5 over 2, 257.20. And that's it. No integration by parts, and it's that simple. Using this formula, we've got an approximate value of uh, an integral from uh, a certain range, a definite integral, um, without using any integration by parts. So you can see that the beauty to this method is you know, we don't have to use any integration by parts. It's awesome. It could save us time and it could save us a headache if we don't need to be, you know, 100% accurate on our on our calculations or whatever. So, yeah, it's that simple. Um, in the next video, we are going to look at multiple segments of uh, the Simpsons one-third rule, and I'll show you how to apply those on uh, and to get a more accurate result. And then that is going to be how we actually lead to um, 100 percent accuracy or as close to 100 percent accuracy as possible so thanks for watching if you like my videos like and subscribe share with your friends and check out my website the link is in the description